Hi guys, we are on warm24.com and we continue our epic story about using the battery for Samsung Gear S3 by Chinese manufacturer Ed Sabbath. Today I would like to show you the results of number of tests we made at the beginning and after 7 months of using the battery. The tests are simple, we can say casual and show how well the battery holds its charge in typical usage before and after. When we replace the battery, I already mentioned that the declared capacity is three times larger than the capacity of the original battery. And after doing some preliminary tests, the battery actually performed really well. Not three times better, but still. And it was important for us to test the battery after seven months, and especially a lot of people have asked us to test it and make a video about it. This video will have an introduction with a little bit of background and the conditions under which we tested the battery, tests with some features on and off, and tests with the running or jogging. The first and important point I want to make is that, as a Gear S3 user, I use them extensively, I run with them regularly in different temperatures, and I charge them from a USB 3.0 port connected to a desktop started at 5% capacity up to 100%, never leaving it charging overnight. I also had to use other earbuds for tests after 7 months. This may have had some effect on the results, hopefully negligible. And just for example of battery life. My colleague, who bought the same watch model at the same time as me, is still using the original battery, which is almost 3 years. So, this is also something to know, understand and take into account. The next, the battery is charging up to 100% and is charged to 5% in the tests. Power 7 modes were not eligible. If the conditions are personalized, the percentages will be listed in the test results additionally. So, conditions. Basic conditions are the conditions under which I regularly use the watch. As you can see on the picture, most features are turned off or limited. Condition for running will be the basic conditions plus the MapMyRun app installed directly into the watch with the GPS and Bluetooth enabled and the wireless earbuds connected. Condition all turned on, as you can see everything is turned on except NFC. This is a feature I have not tested at all, so I decide not to include in the conditions. And the last condition for comparisons is Samsung standard. What is it? As I understand, it is a built-in feature that determines the remaining battery capacity based on present algorithms. When fully charged, the battery setting indicates how long the battery will last in a particular mode. Since we have the standard mode selected, the data is taken from this mode. And yes, why in the tests it is written after 7-8 months, and not after 7 or after 8 months? Why such wording? The point is that the tests were conducted at the different times and at the turn of 2 months, Actually, that is why this kind of phrase. Let's finish with the conditions and move on to the test results. The graphs show the results of the test with the basic and alternate on conditions at the bottom. In green we have the results after 1 month of use, turquoise after 7 to 8 months, and red is the pre-installed function of the watch. We can certainly see a market tendency of battery degradation on the one hand and a significant difference with the data of the Samsung standard. At first months, the battery was able to run for almost 4 months. And this is a really curious result. Again, on the one hand, the manufacturer declares increased capacity, on the other hand, he is criticized for data falsification, but in the end, we see quite a good result. However, if we approximately count the number of cycles after 7 to 8 months, which should be in the range of 
6280 and the degradation of the battery is approximately 20%. Will this battery be enough for the life cycle of the original battery of 800 cycles? That is the real big question. Ok, and we moving on to the charging tests. The watch is connected to a desktop via USB 3.0 hub at the 5% start. The intervals in the readings are set to the first and second hour. As we can see, all the values are approximately the same, but there are slight deviations in the second hour. In the night mode, actually, there are not a lot of differences. Also discharged by 10% for about 8 hours. 7 months on it didn't affect in the anyway. How many percent will discharge the original battery? Unfortunately, we don't have such data. And finally, tests with the running or jogging. Sport, I can run, you can run. My mother can run. You don't see her on the cover of Sports Illustrated, do you? <laughs> So, our first running test is using the watch with the basic conditions plus running once for 2 hours. And as we can see, the battery lasted less than in the test in the first month, but this result is still better than the result of the Samsung standard offered to us. And now we are going to expand the scope of our analysis a little bit. Our graph shows the results of using the watch with the basic all turned on and basic with a 2 hours run. The Mac My Run app with a GPS and Bluetooth settings is installed in the watch and certainly Samsung Health somewhere secretly running as well. It is interesting to note that after 7 to 8 months with the all features enabled, the battery holds a much worse charge than after use in casual conditions plus running. I have tested this again and the result is still the same and within the margin of error a couple hours. However, looking at the first month's readings, the alternate on bar looks disproportionately high. It would be extremely informative to test the watch after another six months to draft conclusions. Regarding the running tests, the distance is not as important to us as the time at which the battery was running in running mode. And when I decided to test only running for 2 hours and 30 minutes, we and the team were again a bit surprised by the results. The distance is the same, the time is the same, and the result is actually the same after 7 to 8 months of use. The battery is discharged by 30% as not surprisingly. And I thought, who would want to use this watch and run for 2 hours or 2 hours and 30 minutes at one time? So I decided to test this watch as if someone was running each day for 40 minutes. And here, as you can see, I got an actually interesting result. When using this watch, I run every day for 40 minutes and my battery drains it much faster. Then when I run once for 2 hours and use the watch casually the rest of the time. And what I want to say at the end of this. The h Sabbath battery still holds charge well and doesn't perform badly. At the same time, battery degradation is evident, and it is significant, at around 60-80 charge cycles of 20%. Most likely, after the next 6 months of use, the battery will have lost 50-60% of its primary capacity. But how bad it is and what alternatives we have is a real big question. I think that h Sabbath battery is not perfect. In my prediction of its service life, taking into account my usage patterns, is around one and a half years. By the way, I forgot to say the most important thing. This is not a promo video or an advertisement. The idea for this video came only thanks 
to your comments on the battery replacement video. And that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Write in the comments your opinion about the battery or if you know any alternative to H7. And see you around or in new videos. Ok guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. I read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until the next video.